At Design Lab, we work with individuals from all different parts of the electronics industry and product development field. Whether they're first-time entrepreneurs, university students, or experienced professionals, we've seen across the board they rarely get the opportunity to visit a factory floor and see the manufacturing process in person. So, our product development engineer, Giovanni, came up with this introductory LAMP project so you can follow the journey a circuit board takes to getting into a finished product. So what we have on the screen here is the flat pattern of the LAMP that we are going to be making. The red part is the outline. So we can see we have uh, four holes here. Those are for the screws that are going to support the PCB. This is the pattern that is actually going to get cut. And the green part is what's going to be rastered. So the first operation it does is raster. It's better to raster first and then cut. So that way the part doesn't move. What's happening right now is that the machine is cutting the acrylic. Now we wanted to do something that was reasonably easy to manufacture here at the lab and that was also fast so that if we had a large group of people they could all have the lamp cut in the same day so they can see the process from concept to actual product in just a day. So I'm going to take the PC board that is not assembled yet, so this is just a PC board. I'm going to place it on the stencil printer, line it up so that the stencil is only revealing the solder pads that we want to cover with solder paste. When you're working with really small surface mount components, hand soldering them is incredibly challenging and so this allows us to be able to very quickly cover the entire board with solder paste. So now I'm going to inspect the board, make sure that we got solder paste on all of the pads. The Neoden has a dual camera vision system where it will align its component, look at any differences in the coordinates and rotation of the component, autocorrect, and place it on the board for accuracy. This is where the camera system is really wonderful. So that's how tight it is on the component. You can see where the leads are on the pads, as well as how much paste was actually put on those pads. So one of the benefits of having a pick and place machine is being able to pick up multiple components and place them at one time. In this case, four components at one time can effectively all be picked up and placed on a circuit board. So they're gonna go in this IN6 Neoden oven, which it has full convection hot air capabilities. It has six zones and intelligent temperature control. So it's gonna start at a lower temperature and warm up the components slowly until it gets to their maximum peak. Take the board and do a final inspection. So after laser cutting the acrylic, now what we're going to do is to use the bender to give it its shape. So next, the acrylic is soft already. Time to bend the first shape. An important thing to do is not to skew it, otherwise when it bends, it looks weird. We're going to add the base to the lamp. Securing a PCB to the product is one of the most important processes. Yes, this is an easy project, so that's, that's the reason why I use tape. 
Normally we would secure the batteries in a different way. Battery pack is in place. There's your finished product. So once we completed the project, we started giving this workshop to people and they really loved it because it's an easy way to, you know, get a hang of what electronic manufacturing means and all the components that are involved. So now we are redesigning the boards to uh, allow people to have more creativity. The original design was just, just one shape, but now we we're trying to give them more space for, for uh, their own designs to be incorporated. So yes, this, this is really fun.